You see, you know your history very well. And now you're acting like, you know, nothing happened. That was God who did it to you. That Ezra revived you. God gave you many time, many chances, many punishment, but you did not listen. Then the last punishment came to you by Cyrus and he kicked you out from Jerusalem. Why are you crying about? You kill prophets with your own hands and why are you crying about? Then you're talking about all these things. What about book of Numbers chapter 31? Where you said that God sent you and Moses commanding and just giving him to the book of Numbers 31 and they go over there and they kill every people and the 33 virgins they took it and they kill children nothing must be spared it's in the Bible even the donkey must not be spared I said what these people do this God is God commanding these all things then you find out those virgin girls from 30,000 you find it 33 and you 33 you gave them to the priests and you enjoy the book of Numbers chapter 31 and you're telling to the people that this is the way you fight checking the people who is virgin and who is not how did you check that those days? by ravishing them, by raping them and then killing those little children take them from their feet and then hit their heads on the rocks these are the commandments written in your Bible and God says that go and kill everything even nothing must be spared look what Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu says when you go for a war don't touch a woman Children, don't cut the trees, don't kill the animals. Only fight with those who are fighting with you, directly confronting. This is Islam. You talk about, you laugh on us, but you talk, you, what case you have? What case you have? For 60 years of brutality, you're doing the poor Palestinians, and now you're taking, talking like, oh, you know, something great has been taken away from our eyes. I say, shame on your intelligence. What were you doing, sleeping? You talk about it, nothing moves, huh? I remember this guy, you know, he was showing that, you know, we have a nano Bible uh, in Jaffa, the city of Jaffa, nano Bible, small Bible, and, huh? Forget about your nanotechnology. You can't even fight the macro technology. You don't even know what's coming to you. You're talking about us. Or maybe it's your pretext to make another, you know, Armageddon where you want to instigate Armageddon and want your Dajjal. I, th I, think, I think so, it's good. Bring your Dajjal. We want to see your Dajjal and you know, you're your Mashiach. So our Mashiach also comes and then inshallah, we will enjoy fighting these things. Bring your Dajjal, we want to see what he can do. Allah is there, subhanahu wa ta'ala is there and you know what's your end. Prophet says, even the stone will say that the Jew is hiding behind me. Get him, get him. Get him, O oh Abdullah, even the stone. Then you're going to be hiding under those, you know, Xithorons, Gharqat, like the little rabbits, the way you are acting. Have you seen these Jewish soldiers? You see, when they get cut, look at them. Allah says in the Quran, by the way, that they are cowards by nature, kuffar. You see, they can only run on the machines. Iblis ko hai, Europe ki machine ka sahara. Only they are sitting on the machinery, not what else they have. You see, watch them, how terrified they are. You know, like, like shaking here, Allah says in the Quran, the Jew, especially for the Jews, that they are terrified of deaths. You know why? Because Allah knows that they are liars. They are guilty. This is ayah in the Quran. You know that they are cowards, especially for the Jews, that they are afraid of deaths. Because they know Allah says, go and kill yourself. If you are truth, then see, 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 do these things and you see what will happen to you. And they know it. And they are just playing games on us, you know. So, Kill every little woman, children, whatever. It's all halal. You know why it's halal? Because in the back of the mind, they have the concept that everyone you can kill, no problem. Because we are the chosen people of God and these all are Gentiles and they are made to be exploited. Like donkeys are made for us to be exploited. So all other people other than Jews are made to be exploited and God will not ask any question. This is the whole eschatology and philosophy or dynamic of the Jewish people. They call them the capital Jew, Judaism. These were not the teachings of their prophets, but this is what they made a racial religion, a cult and they deviated those Christian too by making Jesus God, so Paul of Tarsus. I don't want to go into that. And they are doing this for many, many years in the annals of history because they, in the back of the mind, they said, we will question Archangel Gabriel 
that how dare he came to Prophet Muhammad from Arabian, Arabian Prophet instead of going to pick the last Prophet from our lineage. So we have confrontation with Allah and we will see Allah on Yawm Al-Qiyamah. We will put him in the dock and we will question him. How dare you send Archangel Gabriel to Prophet Muhammad? This, you want to talk to these sick people? These sick people you want to discuss with them?